nice flaming as well. Right guys, so the day's finally here. We're fitting a full exhaust to the GTI. I've already got the box loaded up in the car. Big shout out to the guys at Cobra Sport. So I've gone for their full turbo back system with some fancy tips. That's the part code there anyway. I will unbox this shortly because we are going to head over to my friend's unit and get the car up on a two post lift. But yeah, what we'll do, we'll get a cold start now. So you got a little guide to what it sounds like currently and we'll head over there. Can I just say how good this shot looks with both of them parked like that? Yeah, we are going to get to the 140i soon. Not exactly mind blowing, but then again, it is a stock cat back. So we've made it, I've got the car loaded up onto the ramp. Hope you enjoyed them sound clips outside. Gives you an idea of what we're currently dealing with. So as you remember, we fitted this thing about a month ago. It's an eBay decat, nothing special, but it's three inch. And yeah, it's done the job for now. It's gone a bit blue as well, which does look quite cool. Now I have already gone ahead and unboxed the exhaust. It's the full turbo back system. There's a decal all the way down there. It's always is surprising when you see an exhaust on the floor. It's always much longer than you think. But yeah, I've gone for the resonate system, so it's not crazy loud. And we also got a back box. I want to give a massive shout out to Cobra Sport for supporting the GTI build. Their stuff is very high quality, as you can see. Nice little touches, like the logo they're stamped on. It's all TIG welded as well. And it's handmade in Sheffield. Now, in regards to the exhaust tips, because they're quite a pressing matter, I've gone for these, which are carbon tips. I was initially going to get the Cerakote black ones, but they were on back order, so we decided to go with these. Up we go. This is so much easier. Right, so the exhaust, as you can see, we've got this huge resonator, which some of you may be familiar with in the last few videos. I have mentioned it a couple of times. So that's gonna be deleted. There's where the eBay decal finishes. You will also remember we had a bit of a, a cutting situation with that, so it's got a fresh clamp, so I don't have to worry about anything there. Now, if you look back here, it's all pretty much one piece. There's no joints or anything like that. So the plan is we'll get this cap back off first, and then we'll move on to the front section. 13 millimeter. And then we got this one as well. And we'll undo this sleeve, which is brand new from a month ago. Okay, so cat backs freed from the decap. There's a lot of talk of cats today, even though there aren't any present. And the plan next is to get the exhaust out of this hanger here. I'm not gonna unscrew it though, because it is holding this fuel tank strap as well. So this one will leave intact. The rear one I might unbolt, but we are going to need the assistance of this top lad here. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. Nearly got headbutted by an exhaust, but here we are. Lower it slowly. Sounds like there's a bunch of knocking upstairs. It's my friend knocking at a wall. Okay, so after a bit of shuffling with those jacks, it was a bit sketchy. Managed to get the cat back on the floor by myself. Plan now is to get the decal off. Essentially, it's the same process as what you saw a few videos ago, so you can always refer to that if you want to get some more tips. Right, so down pipes off. There's no exhaust on the car now. It would be cool to start it up, but I don't fancy getting gassed out of here. But yeah, eBay down pipe, Cobra Sport down pipe. I've just gone ahead and swapped over the O2 sensor. A little comparison with the stock cat back as well with the Cobra one. It's definitely a lot smaller in diameter. The Cobra one is three inch all the way through. It also uses mandrel bend, so it doesn't sort of shrink down in any parts of the piping. Because if you look on the OEM exhaust here, it sort of pancakes in certain areas. Also, the back box is pretty huge. And yeah, the tips, I don't think we have to explain that. Right, so I'm gonna fit the downpipe in, but it's gonna involve me twisting a bit, so I need to move the camera. So the power of editing, this is now gonna be completed in the next second. So with a bit of negotiation, the downpipe went in, but we decided to just mock up the whole exhaust whilst we're at it. There's really not much to it. There are a few clamps and because the Cobra system is in various different pieces, it's not a complicated job. If you've done a few bits on your car, you'll be totally fine. So clamp number one from the down pipe to the middle section. And the middle one next to the resonator. It's trying to move. 
and then the clamp that holds the back box onto the rest of the exhaust. Get that lined up. Bit of persuasion, but we're finally there. Now it's time to put the tips on. Now I don't want to go for some riser style effect, so I think a nice OEM position there would be good. Can move it down a bit because we don't want it to be rubbing against this lovely diffuser. I'd say that's pretty spot on. Don't want to have it sticking out, then it looks like a wheelbarrow. So yeah, the plan now is I'm going to get these tightened up because we left them so we can have a bit more adjustment because obviously the back box is in and yeah, get these secured and then we'll get you guys a cold start. Right, so cold start time. Is it any different? Yeah, <laughs> that's quite a bit different. Get them exhaust tips. Just gonna let it warm up for a bit and then we'll get a few flybys outside even though it's dark and raining. That is a lot louder. With the resonator as well. In typical fashion, nothing ever works right. So yeah, the bonnet didn't want to close, so I had to take the grill off. And mind you, you do it, you can't see nothing here, but at least it looks like some sort of drag car now. <laughs> right, so it's warmed up. Definitely a bit more smokier than before. I've taken the mic off, so it's a bit more comparable to the earlier shots. <laughs> Not bad. Jeez. Not gonna lie, folks, I think that's a bit louder than what I thought it was gonna be. Okay, it's flaming as well. So as you heard, there's definitely very loud. It's quite an eventful drive back from the uni yesterday. Plenty of overrun going off. Now I just want to give a massive shout out to Cobra Sport again for supplying me with the exhaust. As I mentioned, they are supporting the GTI build and they've also given me my own discount code for you guys. So it's TR Hamza, it should be on the screen. Should save you 10% off your next order. I will put the link to this exhaust system in the description if you'd like to replicate this setup. As you've seen, it's very loud if that's your sort of thing. You can actually go louder if you get the non-rest setup. And yeah, it does shoot some pretty big flames. I'll give you a little cold start again now, just so you can hear it out here because the other one was in the unit. I think for good measure, we'll take the car around the block just to show you what it sounds like in the cabin. We'll go through a few gears. Apologies if there's quite a bit of wind. This exhaust will definitely drown it out. Right, traction on, so not overrun. <laughs> right, so second gear, I'll boot it now. Definitely a lot more character from it. It's not the greatest sounding engine in the world, but it does make you laugh. I can say that. For me, it's always going to be the old TFSI if you want character from a 2 litre. The old edition 30, man, that thing sounded amazing. There's only so much you can do with this engine. I forgot how bloody fast this thing is, man. Now, I did notice a bit of drone at higher speed, so I had a chat with the guys at Cobra and we're going to likely put in a larger resonator in the centre. Because I do want to retain some like dailyable ness to this car, if that even makes sense. And I'm 
not too sure whether or not this will be quite enough for track days. These Mark 7s are so well built, yeah, that when you put a window down, they get about twice as loud. You can't even hear the intake anymore. <laughs> Before you say a lot of intake noise, it's still there because nothing's changed. It's just the exhaust is like drowning out. But yeah, here's what it is. If you like a nice loud system, definitely go for one of these. But I think what we'll do, we'll end the video here, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I know it's been ages again. But look out for the next video in a couple of days' time. And we'll address the intercooler issue.